Welcome back to Monique at Home. We are in my kitchen again and I'll show you how I make my version of nachos loaded with delicious homemade toppings. Since nachos is a Mexican dish, it's only fitting that you eat it with a Mexican drink, right? And what is more Mexican than a margarita? So today, I'm also going to show you how I make my delicious margarita recipe. Let's start cooking! First, let's make the salsa. This is a very easy recipe. Just put everything in a food processor and you'll have fresh salsa in no time. Guys, if you don't have a food processor, you can use a blender or finely chop the vegetables by hand and stir everything in a bowl. Roughly chop some onions and put in a food processor. Roughly chop some tomatoes and add to the onions. Grab some cilantro leaves and give it a quick chop and add to the chopped onions and tomatoes. Add minced garlic. Cut the lime in half and squeeze the juice into the veggies. Sprinkle some sugar to balance the acidity of the tomatoes and the lime juice. Add some cumin powder, chili powder, and oregano. Season with salt and pepper. Pulse everything together. Guys, be sure not to puree the salsa. Leave some chunky bits for texture. Taste the salsa and adjust the seasoning. Put the salsa inside the wrap. Let it sit for an hour or more, so it will have time for the flavors to melt together. Now let's make the beef topping. Throw in minced onion into a pan with a tablespoon of oil over medium-high heat. Add the minced garlic. Cook until the aromatics are soft. Throw in the ground beef. Guys, you can use any protein of your choice for this recipe. You can use ground pork or even chicken if you like. Whatever protein you like, actually. Season with salt and pepper. Break the meat up and cook until the meat is totally brown. Drain the fat from the meat if needed. Now let's add the herbs and spices. Throw in some dried cumin, chili powder, dried oregano, paprika, and chili flakes. Now, let's pour in the tomato sauce. Most nacho beef topping recipes don't have tomato sauce in it, but I like adding in mine. So it's totally up to you guys if you want to put tomato sauce or not. Taste to adjust the salt, pepper, and other seasonings. Let the beef simmer until cooked. Now let's make the cheese sauce. For the roux, put 2 tablespoons of butter in a saucepan over medium-high heat. When the butter has melted, add the flour. Stir until lump-free and cook for about 3 to 5 minutes to avoid the raw taste of the flour. Slowly add the milk into the pan to avoid lumps. Now let's add the cheese. Guys, for the cheese, I use cheddar cheese slices, the ones you use for sandwiches. Of course, you can use grated cheddar cheese from a block, but I find the cheese slices give a smoother texture to the cheese sauce. Add a dash of yellow food coloring to the sauce. This is totally optional, guys, but I like adding yellow food coloring to the sauce to have that authentic bright yellow color. Stir until the cheese melts and the sauce 
has a smooth and silky texture. Now guys, let's assemble the nachos. Spread out several layers of tortilla chips on the platter. Evenly distribute the beef on top of the chips. Spread a layer of cheese sauce. Put the salsa, iceberg lettuce, and jalapeno peppers on top. Drizzle the sour cream over the nachos. Lastly, finish off with chopped green onions. Guys, if you want to try these recipes, the ingredients with exact measurements are written in the description box below. For the margarita, I'm going to show you how I make a single serving. Guys, I don't like to salt the rim of my glass, so it's really up to you if you want a salty margarita. Using a jigger or a measuring cup, pour in 60 ml or 1 4th cup of tequila into a cocktail shaker. Throw in 20 ml of orange liqueur. Add 30 ml or 2 tablespoons of lime juice. Guys, be sure to use fresh lime for this recipe. Add 20 ml agave syrup. If you don't have agave syrup, you can use 30 ml simple syrup or 1 tablespoon of white sugar. Throw in around 3 4th cup of ice. Shake vigorously for 15 seconds. Then lastly, strain into a 7-ounce coupe glass. That's it guys, my nacho and margarita recipes. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon if you want to get new video updates from Monique at home. Thank you for watching. Bye!